Hi, I'm Maluli. I'm Ellen. I'm Eva, and this is Science Scene. I finally got my DNA ancestry test results back. I took that too. I found out that I was 10% Neanderthal. Maybe that's why my knuckles touched the ground. Mine says that I have Native American ancestors. But I thought you were Hispanic. Well, the DNA markers used in a simple ancestry test wouldn't be able to distinguish between indigenous people in North or South America. Yeah, and most people in Mexico are mestizos, which means we have mixed European and indigenous American ancestry. But wait, can we discuss identities like Native American in terms of genetics? According to my sociology class, race isn't biological, it's a social construction, like hat preference. That's right! The way race is important to identity or social life pretty much resides in American social history and interactions. Like, though the DNA test interprets all indigenous Americans as a single ancestry group, Hispanic and Native American identities are distinct in U.S. society. Okay, but now I'm confused. Can racial groups be defined genetically? Mm, yes and no. It's probably less that races can be identified genetically, and more that we have mapped racial identities onto genetic patterns or features that align with genetics. And we don't always get that right. The most genetically distinct human groups all live in Africa, and yet, in the United States, their descendants all get clumped under racial groups like African American or Black. And those distinctions between U.S. Native Americans and indigenous groups in Mexico are made for important reasons. Right. They reflect different social attitudes and experiences which aren't any less real than DNA molecules. For more on race and its relationship with genetics, check out this week's Science Scene, part of the Life and Art section of your Daily Texan.